advice can you give me? Whatever business you go into, mm -hmm. make sure you love what you do. Make sure you have a passion for it. Don't do it for the money alone. You gotta love what you do. I always say I never worked a day in my life because when you love what you do, you know, it's not considered work. It's a labor of love. So whatever it is, just be really, really passionate about it so that you love you love it. And then the money eventually will come. Um. Uh, th thank you, Mitch. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does anyone else have a question? Yes, we have another one over here. What made you decide to sell clothing and sportswear rather than like a car or video games, per se? What, what made you go into the sports uh, business? Because again, remember in the beginning you had said that you sold, I guess, hats and coats. How did you change that? And what, what made you go into sports instead of, let's say, cars or, or something else along that line? Right. So we had a lot of different medical officers who was in the business. We were in Army, Navy, surplus. Uh, we were in uh, haberdashery. And then in 1963, uh, we bought the Viva Sporting List. And uh, they were like the big sporting list store at the time. And so when we bought them, we kept the name the Vegas, so it was Modell the Vegas, and we attached the name Sporting Goods, and, and we kept. Well, what Whoa, what the heck? Something went out on the screen. Uh, 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 uh,
going to a very big part of our business today, particularly when people buy it online. Every day it keeps growing. And so, you know, with technology changing, and you have to keep up with technology, you go where, uh, you know, you go where the fish are biting. Yes, I have another question. As a CEO, roughly how many hours Probably do you work do. Today? I'm in the office around know. 7 and I leave for whatever time I'm done. 6, 7, 8. Every day is different. Are your children um, taking part in this too? Because uh, on the show you had said that they have little parts in uh, CEO and training. Are they um, starting to work there more? Yeah, they work on, uh, you know, they work on the holidays, they run registries, they own little trucks, they take their merchandise, uh, they do the store business on Saturday, you know. With the friends to see what's happening. Great, that's great. Pretty active. I have another question. So, should the time come when family no longer wants to support the business? Would you consider selling it as a whole, or once family's out of the equation, no more hotels? No, I mean, look, you know what? Right now, it's a, it's a family business. You never know what the future is, but uh, right now, we have no plans on uh, selling. Would you want? Um, now, there are people, I'm sure, there's lots of people, I'm sure, that are employed in your offices. Um, do you look for um, people that have, let's say, a sports marketing degree? A degree in sports no, marketing? From, from the store level, we look for people that are passionate, that have a passion for sports. We can always teach them the technical skills, but they got to love sports and they got to love dealing with customers. In the home office, it depends. If it's a buyer, we want to make sure they're merchants. They got a feel for merchandise. They, they can look at an item and say, wow, this item is brand new, but I know the kids or our customers will like it. So it all depends on you know what the trade is. For a store manager, you want someone that can really communicate well. Someone that knows how to, you know, motivate people well and you know can execute and is organized. Very good. Any other questions? Team apparel and how much is generic apparel? Team apparel depends. It fluctuates. It could be anywhere from 7% to 15%, depending on, you know, if a team wins or not. You know, Mets go to the World Series last year, we're up against huge numbers. Mets are out of it, if you're now up against softer numbers. You know, if the Eagles continue to get hot, which they started off really strong, it could be a huge, huge, uh, you know, uh, financial deal. But if they lose, you know, it's, with team clothing, it's all about emotion. All about emotion, right? I mean, uh, yeah. Cleveland hasn't won since 48. They haven't been in the playoffs in the World Series since, I mean, 97. So, you know, 19 years, they haven't been around in the World Series. We know Cleveland's going crazy for that. Even though we don't have stores there, we hear that from the market. Do you do online sales as well? Yes. Okay, so you've gotten into that. When when did you get into that? How many, would you say a couple of years? 12 years ago. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Another question. Do you realize a larger sales margin in online or in store? Excuse me? Is it, uh, do you make more sales online or in store? In store. In store. Online's a very small percentage growing. A lot of people are a lot more, you know, comfortable buying online, particularly transplants. You know, you have someone that lives in uh, Chicago, they used to live in New York, and they want to buy a Met t-shirt, the likelihood of them coming to us is very strong. What is your biggest time of year for business? Christmas. Oh. Thanksgiving to Christmas. Okay.
smaller footwear and some sell larger footwear. So we're able to adapt to that now. And the other two people that were on the show, um, I believe the gentleman from Connecticut and the, I think his name was Kirk, he drove the truck with you. Are they still employed as well with Models? Yes. Yep. I just saw Kirk last week at the company picnic two weeks ago. Wow. That's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jim is, all, I think his name is Jim, right? He's, uh, is he the guy in Connecticut? Is he like, um, wasn't he supposed to be like oh, a liaison? Yeah, was he supposed to like go from store to store? Like he was getting another, he was getting a promotion? Yeah, he does community involvement, goes you know, from store to store, uh, you know, part-time part assistant and part-time getting feedback. Okay, okay. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? Because... How many employees are in Modell? 4,400. Wow. Wow. And, and New York is your home base, right? You don't have any other um, offices in any other states? Correct. Okay. Manhattan, 36 and 7. Oh, I'm sorry, Samir, go ahead, dear. Uh, do you st do you still like help your 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 employees if they're like living in the shelter like Angel? Or do you did you do any more for Angel after uh, she had you know you gave her the you you were generous enough to give her the check and you gave her um a promotion? Was there anything else uh, that you did for her? That that's not yes. Well, uh, she ends up taking the money. She ends up buying a, a four bedroom house. Down in Washington, and uh, I've seen her probably about a half a dozen times since the episode, and she's doing fabulous. She had another child since the episode, and she's doing great. Great attitude. Mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry, Samir. What, what was it? I didn't ask the question. Yeah, yeah. I was like, do you like help your other? Oh, are there any other employees um, that didn't make the show that uh, maybe you, you assisted with anything? Uh, yes, yeah, they didn't have it, but. Two 